The Scar 16 is the Drake of the gun world. People say they hate Drake, but they all have a secret Drake playlist that they listen to when no one is around. The same way a lot of people say they hate the Scar 16, but secretly have it on their wish list of guns. Except for one of my friends. He hates the Scar, and I believe him. But for everyone else, we don't believe you. You need more people. The name SCAR, which stands for Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, was the name of the military competition that the SCAR won when the military was looking to replace the M4. FN started producing the Mark 16, the military version of the SCAR 16, in 2007. The SCAR 16, which is chambered in 5.56, is smaller brother to the SCAR 17, which is chambered in 308. Though they have a lot of similarities, the SCAR 16 is a much different rifle compared to the AR-15. Unlike most AR-15s that are direct impingement, the SCAR-16 is a short stroke piston system. This means the SCAR can have a folding stock. This is a trigger warning. If you don't want me to completely change the way you see the stock on the SCAR-16 for the rest of your life, skip this part of the video. For you brave souls who decided to stick around, something tells me the lead designer of the SCAR had a young daughter that was obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes, crop tops, and yoga pants because the stock on the scar looks exactly like an Ugg boot. Oh my God. <laughs> Ugg boot aside, the stock is beautifully functional. It has a cheek riser to give you access to a higher set optic and remembering how far you like your stock extended is made easy with each distance marked with a number. Add the fact that the stock can fold and you can't really argue with the functionality. I always loved the functionality of the stock, but I wasn't that much of a fan of the way it looked. But as time has gone on, it's actually quite grown on me. The most controversial aspect of the SCAR is by far the reciprocating charging handle, and deservedly so. For me, it's not a deal breaker, but I can see why it is for some. If you're shooting on barriers, it can cause the gun to malfunction, and if you're not careful with your hand placement, your thumb will hate you. Thankfully, the SCAR 16 is fully ambidextrous, so if you're not opposed to charging your rifle like an AK, you can switch the charging handle to the other side of the rifle. Everyone loves to rave about the iron sights on the SCAR-16, and for good reason. They're awesome. However, because I have an obsession with running offset red dots, I can't run a rear sight, but trust me, they're awesome. The SCAR is one of the first rifles I didn't feel the need to change the safety selector on. It's fluid and incredibly easy to engage on both sides. The SCAR-16's barrel is a cold hammer forged pencil barrel, Barrels of this profile tend to get hot quick, but then it also means it dissipates heat just as quickly and also removes the weight, which of course is a great thing. That said, it usually leaves me wondering about accuracy, but let's just say it's creepy how accurate this rifle is. It really shouldn't be this accurate, and it is. If you've only ever shot traditional AR-15s, shooting a short stroke piston system like the SCAR-16 will throw you off a little. It'll feel like there's an unexpected party going on inside the rifle that you weren't invited to. But man, this rifle shoots so smooth. The piston just glides like a skateboarder grinding on a rail. It's not more or less recoil, it's just different. The first gun I ever wanted in Flat Dark Earth was the Daniel Defense Mark 12, and that was in 2014. The second rifle was the Scar 16. I say that because anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with the color black. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but do not, I repeat, do not, if you can help it, get this rifle in black. Unequivocally, this is the best looking FDE rifle I've ever seen. It's like FN called Christian Gray and said, help us design a rifle that isn't gray. And he said, hold my furry handcuffs and came up with the 50 shades of FDE that is this rifle. Between the lower, upper, and buttstock, none of the colors match. And it's awesome. Take it from the guy who just painted his entire house gray and black. Don't buy the SCAR-16 in black. All right, buy it in black if you can't get it in FDE. But if you can, get it in FDE. Geisley makes a trigger for the SCAR-16 that is phenomenal. I have it in my SCAR-17, but you don't need it in the 16. I love Geisley's triggers, I really do. But the stock trigger on the 16 is really, really good. Now, if you don't like single stage triggers, you'll hate it. I typically don't like single stage triggers, but man, this one is fire. I don't need any fancy words to describe it. Put simply, it's clean and incredibly predictable. 
Currently, I have my SCAR-16 set up like a quasi recce rifle. I have a 1-4 to Leupold with a 45 degree offset Leupold Delta Point Pro. Long story short, anything 400 and in, depending on the size of my target, I'm good. I personally think that's the sweet spot for this rifle. It's a fast shooter, but I don't think that's where it shines. I think it shines at 50 to 400 yards. It's balanced enough to freehand shoot with no issue, but more than accurate enough that if you needed to put this thing on bipods and touch targets at 400 yards, it does so effortlessly. That's not to say it's not accurate past 400. The distance limitation is more the power of the optic than the rifle, but I think the one to four with an offset red dot is perfect for me on this rifle. Yes, the SCAR-16 is expensive, but it's also not an easy rifle to find. That should tell you something. At a minimum, it should tell you that like Drake, there are people out there who hate this rifle, but there are way more people who love it. As far as I'm concerned, hmm, well, let's just say I have multiple Drake playlists and I don't hide the fact that I love Drake's music. So there you go. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by and issued to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.